Hello and welcome everyone. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to install Storyboard UI. So basically I was trying to install this thing for the last couple of months. It never worked. Sometimes it was giving me this weird error and wouldn't launch the game. Sometimes it would launch the game but wouldn't load into the game. It would just keep stuck uh, in the menu while loading the game. And today I was finally able to make it work. It worked. I actually recorded a video about it, how to install it. I was uploading it, and while uploading it, I don't have uh, so much space on my SSD. The game was on the SSD. I moved it to my hard drive, and it again gave me this error when I tried to launch the game. So I stopped uploading that video and trying to install the mod again, try to replicate everything I did to see if it works. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I hope it does. And uh, if any of you having a problem like this, it doesn't launch, you cannot use the mod. I hope this video will be helpful for you because there is literally no video on the internet about how to install Storyboard UI. So that's why I'm making this video as well. So, first of all, we're gonna reset our Witcher 3. We're gonna completely reset the game and make it ready for the modding. And then we will start installing the mods one by one. So, first thing first. Go to your documents, your documents, Witcher 3, in your game saves, like you just drag it and drop it into your uh, desktop, doesn't matter, and then go back and delete the Witcher 3 file in here, delete it, it's gone. Then, go to your Witcher 3 directory, From I'm going to go from Steam, Manage, Browse Local Files, now in the Witcher 3 directory, first of all, delete the mods folder, right click, Delete it completely if you have a mods folder. On DLC, other than the Bob DLC 1 to 16 and EP1, if you have other DLC folders like this, just like uh, select them and delete them as well. Now, go back, content, content 0, scripts, right click, delete it. Back, bin, right click, delete it as well. Now it's gone. There is one last thing to do. Instead of the game directory this time, you want to go to your Steam directory, the, the where your Steam app is installed. For me, it's program files, x86, Steam, right here. And in here, the user data folder, right click on it, not right click on it, just click on it. This, and this 292030, this is for your Witcher 3 game. So just get inside that and delete this cache as well. Now the game is completely ready to reset actually. Go to your Steam again. Oh, by the way, I maybe I should have told this earlier. I'm going to cut this part and put it on the earlier part of the game, the video. Do not forget, like before you um, do the file integrity thing, go to your general and untick the Steam Cloud thingy. Because if you don't, it might re-download the files that you changed earlier and not, might not work. So you untick this. So game launches, the downloads as reset it, okay? I'm just going to cut this part and put it on the earlier part of the video. Now the game is completely ready to reset actually. Go to your Steam again. Settings, properties, local files, and verify integrity of the game files. Now... It will re-download the kind of corrupted, maybe, I don't know, the files that we deleted. And after that, we're going to start modding the game. Now, I'm just going to wait for the Steam files to validate. And then it will download, like, the things we deleted is very small. It's probably 150 megabytes or something. It will download them. And in the meantime, you can just also go ahead and download the mods. Let me just show you. These are the mods that you will need to download. I will put them in the link as well, like this. Just download all of them. They are very small mods as well. Just download all of these and put them on a folder and wait for your validation to end and download the things. Then I'll be right back. So everyone, the game done its thing and downloaded somewhere around like 27 megabytes of files. Now, since we deleted this 
document files we don't have a witcher 3 file on our document so and we we're gonna work on it a little bit so we will launch the game once and then just close it right after after we get to the menu just so that files uh, that file creates let's just wait it's gonna take some time because we launched for the first time kind of since we reset the game okay now we get to this menu so that means you successfully resetted your game just press ok to both of them and now maybe you can see here since we also deleted our save files we don't have any save files here so just exit the game after we launch the game the Witcher 3 files on the documents is created we don't have any game saves obviously but earlier we put it on the our desktop get on, get in here just like drag them and drop them into your game saves folder so now you can continue playing the save files that you have in your game and after this now we're gonna slowly start installing the mods one by one i gave you the links for all these mods download all of them put them in a folder separate folder and on the side also open your witcher tree directory and then we will start the mod one by one let me just get this on the side first mod we're going to install is the community patch base this one also let me just also show you the you download it from here download this file only extract it the content and mods just select both of them drag them and drop them into your Witcher 3 directory change the files in the game now it's done go back let me just delete it the next one we're gonna download is the bootstrap in this menu you have to download these two both of them I also tried it with this one didn't work out for me so download these two bootstrap registry and the bootstrap version 4.1.0 4. 4. 0. 4.1 now extract both of them first we're gonna put the registry one mods mod bootstrap registry drag it drop it in here go back bootstrap dlc drag the dlc just, what the, the hell just happened okay drag the dlc drag it and drop it like this and mods folder bootstrap drag it drop it and now here this is very important open the mod bootstrap folder there is this input settings open it select all of it and copy it close it now now go to your documents witcher tree input settings Go all the way down and paste them at the bottom paste it and save it now we can close we're gonna do it one more time now go back let me just delete this to now the third one is the shared imports there is only one file for it download this extract it mods drag it and drop it in here the, f the fourth one is the ready seats this one you have to download this one extract it dlc goes into the dlc folder and the other one is going to be mods goes into the mods folder the fifth one is the storyboard ui you download this one storyboard ui version 0.8.0 right here extract it dlc goes into the yeah dlc folder 
and mod goes into the mods folder and again in this one as well open the mod storyboard ui there is another input settings open it select all of it copy it close go back to your documents the Witcher 3 input settings again go all the way down and paste it at the bottom now save it again and close it back to the directory now we only have three more mods left we will extract both all of them the free cam debug console you download this one mod limit adjuster you download this one there's only one files and the ultimate asi loader you download this one the zip folder let's just extract all of them now on your Witcher 3 directory bin x64 open it select them drag them and drop them open it select them drag them and drop them open it select it drag it and drop it so now our uh, story mode ui st storyboard ui mod is installed fully installed it should work this is what i did and it worked also in the storyboard ui description page if i can find it on the install menu where is it oh, it doesn't say here so in one of the uh, things that i found was telling me to delete dimput dimput8.dll after extracting them before the, the way i made this mod work i didn't delete it and it worked when i deleted it it didn't work it was giving me these errors so i'm not going to delete anything i just extracted everything just everything stays as this i'm just going to open my thing on the right if i to see if game crashes now we're going to launch the game and see if it works i hope it does i don't know if it's going to work but if it does that means we just did everything right let's just see okay at least the game launched but the problem is sometimes it just stucks after this page in this page it stucks and doesn't load up the game i hope it loads up let's just wait incognito in that war ravaged land his mission to gather intelligence about siri yet carol's arrived too late the wild hunt had reached hendrick first the witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse but the wraiths had failed to find his notes carol's read them and knew that siri had been a guest of the bloody baron a local warlord and that she'd quarreled with a witch okay it loads up that's good that's oh maybe it doesn't wait oh it loads up okay it didn't crash this is good now on your keyboard press your f2 key and write spui enter and our spui storyboard ui works I actually don't know how to close it yet. I just made it work one time and decided to make a video about it. So I'm just oh, you just press escape key and it closes. Okay, let me just close the game. So this is how you make it. It works. And by the way, since we did all those things, there should be like at least two minutes passed. So one last thing to do: go back to these mods menus and endorse these mods like. These people are working really hard. They probably worked like so long to make these things work. Just endorse all of them. Give them some love. And then, yeah, that should be it. There is literally no video on the internet about how to install storyboard UI. Like, shit, I, I couldn't even write, dude. 
there is no video on internet about how to install storyboard ui and i hope this video helps some of you i had a lot of problems couldn't make it work once for months and this is the way to make it work and i hope this also helps some of you and uh yeah this is the end of the video i hope it's helpful i wish all of you a good day or a good night i don't know bye